This video is developed in the framework of the Africa Phytosanitary Program, or APP, as part of training material to provide guidance on conducting surveys for Bactrocera species. This video supplements the complete survey protocols provided by the International Plant Protection Convention and the United States Department of Agriculture. We will demonstrate use of the methayusinol lure in the Jackson Trap. The Jackson Trap has a cardboard body. The trap includes a sticky insert that is placed inside to catch any flies that are attracted to the lure. A pesticide strip that must be placed inside the trap to stun the fruit fly, causing it to fall onto the sticky insert. And a metal hanger to hang the trap in the host tree. Before you start, be sure to wear nitrile gloves while you assemble the trap. First, open the cardboard body of the trap until it forms a triangular shape and fold the corners. Place the sticky insert along the bottom of the trap. Take the metal hanger and slide two plastic baskets onto the hanger. Remove the methayusinol lure from the package and place it inside one plastic basket and close the lid. Remove the pesticide strip from the package, place it inside the other basket, and close the lid. Slide the hanger onto the top of the cardboard body. We will demonstrate use of Torula yeast lure in the multi-lure trap. The multi-lure trap includes a clear plastic top with a built-in lure well, a yellow well cap to hold the fruit fly lure in place, a yellow plastic bottom that has a liquid reservoir to trap and drown flies, and a metal hanger to hang the trap in the host tree. Before you start, be sure to wear nitrile gloves while you assemble the trap. First, Insert the metal hanger into the notch located at the top of the clear plastic top. Place three to five Torula yeast pellets into the reservoir. Pour the 10% propylene glycol solution into the yellow base to fill the reservoir approximately halfway full, but no more than three quarters full. Connect the clear plastic top to the yellow plastic bottom by lining up the yellow pegs with the clear plastic notches and twisting to lock in place. Both traps should be placed at a proper height so they hang well within the tree canopy and near mature fruit if available. Place traps in areas away from people, children, or animals to minimize interactions with the traps. Use flagging tape to mark the tree containing the trap. You should inspect the Jackson trap every one to three weeks, depending on the season. Examine the sticky insert for captured flies. Do not attempt to remove specimens from the sticky insert. Instead, bend the sides of the insert inward. Fold the insert and use a rubber band to hold it closed. Check to make sure the specimen will not be damaged using this method. Then put the insert in a labeled plastic bag. Store samples in a cooler, if possible, before sending them to the lab for identification to avoid sample degradation. If no flies are detected, remove any leaves or debris from the insert. Replace the insert when it is no longer sticky to ensure the trap will continue to capture flies. You should inspect multilore traps weekly. To collect a sample from the multilore trap, you will need paint filters or a strainer, a funnel, 10% propylene glycol solution, a container or bucket, 70% alcohol, a spray or squirt bottle, sealable plastic bags, marker or pencil, 
vials, forceps, a cooler, and nitrile gloves. If using a paint filter to collect any drowned insects, first place the paint filter inside the funnel. Place a bucket under the funnel and pour the trap liquid into the paint filter. Allow the liquid to drain. Any drowned insects will remain in the paint filter. Remove the paint filter with insects and fold the top of the paint filter to close. Place the paint filter in a labeled and sealable bag with a paper towel sprayed lightly with alcohol. Place the sample bags in a cooler if possible for transport to the lab. If using a strainer to collect any drowned insects, place the strainer over a bucket and pour the trap liquid into the strainer. Allow the liquid to drain. Any drowned insects will remain in the strainer. Remove the insects and place them inside a paint filter following the method above or directly into a small leak-proof container or vial with 70% alcohol. You should transfer possible fruit fly samples to alcohol as soon as possible to avoid degradation prior to identification. Replace the multilore trap liquid with fresh solution and terula yeast pellets. Dispose of used liquid safely. Do not pour it on the ground or near the roots of host plants. Before leaving the site, be sure to enter all of the trapping data into your mobile device. For step-by-step -step instruction to enter survey data, please refer to the video titled Mobile Data Collection Workflow available on the APP landing page under training. Thank you for taking time to view this instructional video.